The hottest pet a decade ago is now the most abandoned. Exotic birds are beautiful and smart enough to talk. I remember when everyone was getting them. They are wild animals, though, and can be a challenge to take care of. Caroline Lowe shows us what an owner can do when these fun in the pets has flown the coop. <laughs> Kara Helgeson and Murphy have been friends for almost 20 years. I got him when I was 13 years old. It was actually a rescue story. <laughs> Rescued from a home where the owners were never there. Kara provided her cockatoo with love and lots of attention. But these birds can live up to 60 years. They are a lifetime commitment. I mean, most of these birds end up in wills. And their needs change over time. Unfortunately, throughout the years of me getting busy and... I've had less time to spend with him, which has made him more nervous. He's become a feather plucker due to nerves. Not only does he pluck his feathers, <laughs> Murphy screams for attention. It's become unmanageable for me because I wake up, you know, to screaming. He screams all day long. The only time he doesn't scream is when I'm holding him. Karis had to make a difficult decision. I feel like he deserves more than what I can give him right now. And um, I just have to say goodbye, I guess. He's my buddy, though. Parrots and exotic birds are really wild animals, but once they're taken from the wild, it's almost impossible for them to go back. So some owners are turning to sanctuaries like this one for help. Hello. Eileen McCarthy is the founder of Midwest Avian Adoption and Rescue Services, or MARS. This Twin City sanctuary has more than 100 exotic birds, some rescued from abuse, others from loving homes that can no longer accommodate the birds' needs. They are so desperate for social interaction that <laughs> the humans become their flock. And it's really not feasible to meet the kinds of social needs that parrots have, which is basically 24-7. In a flock, they would never be alone. And flocks of parrots in the wild are becoming a more familiar sight. There's a flock in Brooklyn, New York, another in San Francisco. Even though these birds are native to the tropics, the exotic pet trade has brought them farther north. Many of these birds in the wild have either escaped or been released by overwhelmed owners. All of the things that are great about them, that make them fascinating, amazing creatures in the wild, are a complete disadvantage in captivity. Myra Tweedy has written a book called The Parrots and People. Even though she loves her lorikeet named Zazu, she warns that these birds are terrible pets. Tweety is fighting for protection because not only are parrots the most endangered species of wild birds in the world, they've also become the fastest growing group of unwanted pets. They're basically, in a nutshell, they're wild animals. They live in domestic situations with us, but they're never domesticated. Do you know, is he a wild caught? It spent a year on the waiting list. Kara knows the sanctuary will provide a better flock for Murphy. He has been a good little friend, but I just don't have, I can't give him what he needs. That's not fair. And it's become unfair to me, too. But after almost 20 years, it's still not easy. Bye, Murphy. I love you. I love you. I always will. Oh, Caroline tells us parrots can be good pets if you're someone who works at home and can be with them all day. And if you're looking for help with a pet bird or want to contact Mars, guess where you go? WCCO.com slash links.